Hey, Tastemakers, Tanya here. We're in the greenhouse. I am just doing a tour. It's been cold for a couple of weeks. It's uh, what, it's in October. We're in the, the middle of October. So I have already, I got all of my house plants over here. And it's been going down to the 30s and 40s at night. Right now it's 60 in the greenhouse. And um, my indoor plants aren't doing, my uh, monster is not doing well. It doesn't like it this cold. And my dumb cane doesn't like it this well. As, uh, I even had these, uh, my bromeliads in the house. And I like repotted them. I sprayed them down and put them in the house for like a week. And then a little frog came up out of out of one of them because so I looked at something it was something in there I thought maybe like a little piece of fluff or something was in the one of the uh, cups in there and all day long I saw it and then one day then like a few hours later like after I watered the cup um, a little frog was like on the uh, on the pot and uh and it scared me and I was like help me what's what is this and so I shouldn't have told him because he's like, well, you need to. That's why I don't want all these plants in and out. Because I like, I had cleaned it, gave it new dirt, cleaned the pot. And then so, so I had to bring these outside. So they're right here in this section here. Over here, I have my collards and my cabbages. And so I had to put some of um, some insect killer on them so that's the white stuff you see so I want to just share this with you and I want you want you guys to see you know the progress of them I want to see how they do out here in the fall okay it's October so I've already had these two weeks this is the one that I started from seed I started six collard green plants from seed and only one survived and this one was struggling so now it's bouncing back so you know, they look good it's putting on like two more leaves it's cold in here to me okay so i have these these are they're doing well they're all doing well and it got so cold i had to bring my pretty tropical plant in here she's okay and the eggplant, it had to come in here. All right, so we have more uh, collards here. Here's my lettuces. Okay, they're surviving. I just had to, two of the pots, uh, the lettuces are dying, so I just cut them off. I'm going to see if they rejuvenate. I don't know. And the reason I really wanted to start making uh, my own collard greens, I don't know, around here, the farmers that used to do collard greens aren't doing them anymore. I'm not, I'm unable to find some good greens during the holidays. So I was like, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to grow my own because I'm like very picky. And I used to be able to find good, good sources, but lately, no. So doing it myself so we have let's see these are my yeah, these are my morris headed morris heading heirloom cabbage collards i like cabbage collards so these look well and i got these these are buckets i got from lowe's nursery nursery pots they're doing well. So that's butter crunch lettuce right here. Like how they're looking. It's like they, they're doing better when I bunch them than the ones that are like individually in a pot. Okay, got some more greens here, more greens here. All 
All right. See, here's my Crotons. Crotons doing well. So I gotta save my monster. I'm gonna do a real good repotting, recleaning of this, and maybe hubby will let me bring it back inside. Maybe he'll. I, all I want is to bring in the dumb cane, and then I want to bring in my monster, and uh, everything else that's in there is in there. I got a bunch of pothos and crotons, and they're doing well. So. Yeah, I'm leery because there's like a golden frog that lives in a lot of these bromeliads. And they, a lot of times they may just be, you know, just little, little, you know, just little plants or, you know, laying dormant. And then in the right conditions, they'll grow. And they jump all up in your house, little froggies. Okay, so... Let's see that one's sprouting and an animal a little snail or something's tried to eat that one but if they ate that they ate that uh white stuff they're dead okay so we're going to check back in in a week or two I'm going to let you guys see what's going on all right so we can grow our own greens and be as self-sufficient as possible we need to keep some chlorophyll and some greens in our body you know for self-sufficiency purposes like I buy a lot of canned goods and stuff like in the case of an emergency if you just have to eat you know high sodium canned goods and stuff like that then you can balance that out with some healthier, fresh greens and jalapeno pepper. We grow like peppers. Peppers grow good for us. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and greens. Just step outside on my patio. Okay, guys, let's see. All right, so you see her. jalapenos love it out here these plants are still doing well it's it's cold it's been getting down to 39 degrees at night these are good we cleaned out the raised bed here I need to get my uh, pots back in the greenhouse put something in those I'm going to see, I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring my greens and if I need to bring them out here for them to really get a good jump start, I'll do that. But I'm just watching things right now because they're still fairly young. Okay, and this is wimping out. And I never did take care of my, uh, I've kept feeding uh Moms are, are heavy feeders. I kept feeding them and feeding them, but I don't know. Maybe this isn't a good spot for them. As long as everything was adding beauty or food to the backyard, I'll keep it. And she did, was doing real well yesterday, and it got too cold. And this little one, this little seed here is perking up. We'll watch it. And then down here. So I got all the windows closed in the greenhouse to keep it warm in there. It's toastier in here than it is outside. Okay, guys, so that's it. I'm sharing this with you because I want to inspire you, those that you have, if you have any space at all, you know, you can start growing your own collard greens, cabbages, and uh, lettuces in your backyard. 
you know just uh you see these pots right here get these probably at like a dollar 29 at at a home depot or lowe's and put your starts in there you get you can get six plants for 5.98 you know like a dollar a plant and for like you can start there just pop them in there keep them watered and fed and you can just come out on your patio and monitor them and take care of them and and uh i think what they like 60 days you can get a good 60 45 to 60 days for the uh lettuces um collard greens may take like 60 to 75 days to mature but you can start getting some leaves off of them when they're smaller all right so that's the purpose of this just to give you some ideas on how easy it is uh to grow your own grow your own vegetables i'm not going i'm not i'm setting mine up so i don't have to bend down to harvest i don't have to like use a shovel to be digging up dirt and you know i'm, I'm doing it the uh you know, we're in a neighborhood. We're not on the farm. You know, so we're doing it easy. I got some good soil, good sunlight, good water. And, you know, I'm just making it easy. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be back-breaking work to get a few plants that you can harvest off of on a regular basis. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, Mom.